I already want to change my backdrop. See, this is why I can't commit to a dollhouse or to my travel doll. You know, the doll that you keep in your bag for when you're out and about and need to take a quick photo? I'm trading my Barbie Extra Mini for a Dream Ella Extra Iconic Mini. They can share clothes and she fits in the bag. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties? We've switched to our Barbie style room for a little change of scenery. Before we get started with those Illy Forever fashion packs, let's answer a few questions. Does ILY mean I love you? Yes, it's a common shortcut while texting. But in the commercials for the 18-inch dolls that I've seen, they say Illy. But you know, come on, there's symbolism. Can Monster High dolls fit Illy shoes? Draculaura has volunteered for the test. When comparing them, the Monster High foot is at a steeper incline and the Illy foot looks slightly larger. So if I put a Monster High house shoe on an Illy doll, the heel hangs out. Can Cinderella's shoe fit Draculaura? The answer is... Uh, not that great, cause the Illy foot curves a little. Let's try Belle's shoe. And it's not very easy to get on, but it is doable. Can a curvy Barbie fit Illy shoes? A curvy Barbie's foot is a lot smaller. Cinderella's shoe is too big, and so is Belle's. What about Ken? Nope. Can Illy fit rainbow high shoes? <laughs> wow, there's a lot of shoe questions. Open toe rainbow high shoes look great from the side but a little big from the front. This heel is a little snug and doesn't look too bad, but still a little big. A boot looks pretty good, but it's a snug fit and I'm a little concerned about removing it. Oh, okay, it wasn't so bad. All right, here we go. I bought all of my fashion and accessory packs from shopdisney.com where they were $16.99 each. However, the fashion packs are $14.99 at Target, while the accessory packs are still $16.99. I could have saved some money because there are a lot of fashion packs. We have Rapunzel, Moana, Ariel, Aurora with a Maleficent vibe, Belle, Princess Jasmine, Mulan, Pocahontas, Elsa, and Cinderella. There is also a Snow White fashion pack, but I didn't get that one because we have to draw the line somewhere, says the woman who buys two Cinderella's. Yeah, but I got one to put on a made to move body, so we're just gonna write that off as Toya Logic. And now I'm wondering if we can swap the hands and feet. Prepare the hot water. We're gonna use the hands from the original body as well as the feet. I place their feet into a plastic bag. Aw, I missed the Tiana fashion pack too. Then into hot water. I also missed the Cinderella accessory pack. Are you kidding? Sorry, there was just so much going on. All the excitement of a new doll line, but I did order them and we'll see them when they get here. And no, I did not pay for two day shipping. The feet have softened, so I just brace it at the ankle and pull it out. Come on, come on. Oh, this might not work. Oh yes, I did it. Barbie's feet were a lot easier to remove, but I don't think these are gonna be compatible. Can we remove the Illy hands? Yep, we can. Here are Barbie's feet on the Illy doll. We do have a little bit of a gap there. Illy hands can fit a Barbie. However, the peg pole is really long, so you end up with the gap. If you choose to cut them, the hands won't stay in, but the feet do. So now we can wear the Illy shoes on our made to move Barbie. Keep in mind, customizing a doll is a dangerous business where things can go horribly wrong. You have been warned, but I was able to put the Illy hands back onto the original body and they're staying pretty good. So my made to move Disney Illy Forever doll can fit everything in the fashion pack, including the shoes. 
The Cinderella Fashion Pack comes with a blue headband, silver bow earrings, a fuzzy top with a silver carriage on it, a shiny blue skirt with two layers, a mouse purse with a blue velvet strap, a silver colored watch, and silver shoes with pink soles. Here it is on the Illy doll. It looks good on Disney Store Raya. Our curvy made-to-move Ariel might need a Velcro extension in the back, but here she is. Integrity Toys Poppy Parker fits it pretty well. The headband's a little loose, but I think we can get away with it. The skirt is okay on a Rainbow High doll, but the top is a little large. The Elsa-inspired fashion pack looks so comfy. We get a sleeping mask or eye mask that says Nap Queen, a scrunchie, a t-shirt that ties in the front that says make your own magic, shorts with an elastic waistband, and I like how the little drawstring is pinned so it looks like it's hanging down. We have a little cup with a removable Olaf head, little wedges, and a fuzzy Olaf robe with working pockets. My belt is not attached to the robe, so I do wish there were some belt loops. I might end up just stitching it in the back. And in our last video when we reviewed this doll, she came with this little magic carpet notepad, which some of you said was an autograph book. I love this doll community. I love that she has a little fabric sleeping mask. I think it's super cute. Here are the PJs on a Rainbow High doll. The top is a little large, even though it is a crop on the regular doll. So I'm just not loving the fits on Rainbow High. It works on a classic made-to-move Barbie body, a curvy made-to-move body, Disney Store Raya, and Integrity Toys Poppy Parker. Up next, Pocahontas. We have a warm ombre camp shirt with a graphic on the front and a little tie on the side tan pants with turquoise trim, an open plaid shirt with faux gold buttons. I did find it a little challenging to get past the hands, so you might want to use, you know, like a plastic bag or something to help you out. There's a hat with leaves on the front, a compass necklace, binoculars with a fabric strap, and boots. There is also a bird watching guide, which is a folded over piece of paper. There is an image on the inside as well as the back. Here it is on a classic Barbie body. I couldn't get the shorts up on a curvy made to move Barbie, so I used the Jasmine inspired shorts. However, they don't close in the back. And here is Poppy Parker. Mulan's inspired outfit comes with a pink faux leather dress with a green print, a red fabric beanie with a yellow flower on the side, high colorful socks and blue and white sandals, a green, blue, and red jacket that takes a little work to get past the hands, a green and clear purse with a velvet ribbon strap, a drink, and a paper magazine. It does open, there's a picture on the inside, and it's finished on the back. It is possible to get the dress on a curvy made to move body, but the stitches are pulling a little in the back, and this little hole in the back is completely open. The dress fits a classic made-to-move Barbie body. However, the socks are loose. It's a little large on a Disney Store doll, but I think it's doable. It's a little loose on Poppy Parker as well. The Princess Jasmine-inspired fashion pack comes with a sheer wrap shirt with tiger stripes going down the arms. There is a sewn-in metallic top underneath with ribbon straps, turquoise pants, a little watch, I think, sunglasses, a moon necklace, another scrunchie, wedges, a tiger purse with a real tassel, but it has no handle, and a green drink in a cup with a straw. This outfit is an easy fit on a made-to-move Barbie body. The top can fit a curvy, but the pants are pretty tight and they barely close in the back. It fits our Disney Store Raya and Poppy Parker. We can put this outfit on our Mattel Made to Move Jasmine for a modern princess look. Check out our Made to Move Disney Princess video for more modern princess looks. We also made a Cinderella bed and princess bunk beds. Just throwing that out there. The Belle Fashion Pack comes with a yellow top with roses, ruffles, and puff sleeves. 
The fabric is kind of silky, so I'm gentle with it so it doesn't snag. We get two rose hair clips, a double gold colored necklace with roses, jeans with painted roses and leaves. We do have belt loops, a little gold button there, and stitched pockets. The jeans are rolled at the bottom, and it comes with boots with painted roses. This fashion pack also includes a brown basket with a top that can open, and there is food inside. Once you remove the packaging, the food can go inside completely, and we can close the top down. I feel like this fashion pack is giving us some really cute pieces. I love the outfit and the basket. However, I would have gladly traded the hair clips for more earrings, but that's just me. Here it is on a classic Barbie. Raya, the jeans are a little big. They're too tight to close on a curvy, and it's a little big on Poppy. The Aurora fashion pack. Just a moment. I just have to say this, I have dressed and redressed and undressed quite a few dolls at this point, and the thread that holds these little headbands in place is not my favorite. Thank you for allowing me to vent. On with the show. The Aurora fashion pack is giving Disney descendants. We have a pink t-shirt with a graphic of Maleficent in dragon form, ombre shorts with a silver faux button, stitched pockets, little cuts, and stockings attached. The toe is enclosed, and I do wish they were two separate pieces, but they're one. We have purple dragon skin boots with a little shimmer, a headband with roses and spikes, a two-tone metallic jacket, which is kind of perfect. We got the blue on one side, the pink on the other, cause you know, Aurora's dress keeps changing. We have a clear vinyl bag and a concert ticket. Correction, my stockings do have an opening in the bottom. It's just a little snug. Hopefully it's supposed to be there and I didn't just rip holes in them. It fits as expected on a classic made to move. The shorts are a little large on a Disney princess, as well as Poppy, but they cannot close on a curvy. I kind of love Moana's fashion pack. Leggings and an oversized top are totally my jam. We have sunglasses, a hoodie that says save our oceans with faux drawstrings, matching stretchy leggings, sneakers, however I do have a little misprint there, a bucket where the handle can move, a water bottle, and a baseball cap with a little wave on the front. The sweatshirt is great, the leggings are a little loose on Raya and Poppy. It's a nice fit on a curvy and a classic made to move Barbie body. This is our Mattel Tiana on a made to move body. We did a head swap in a recent video. On a classic Barbie, the leggings do have a little room in them, but it's not terrible. And I love this look. I love the color, I love everything. The Ariel fashion pack gives us roller skates. Love that. The wheels are stationary. They don't spin. We do have little painted flowers on the sides and the laces are blue. We get leg warmers, a shiny pink top, a hip bag or a fanny pack with a little seashell on it. It's like a Ursula purple. We have green shorts with an elastic waistband and ribbon trim, bracelets and a little watch. I think the little watch is cool because it has a little fastener in the back. There's a helmet that we can decorate with stickers. The helmet also has like a little fastener or buckle and seashells printed on the sides. I think I'm gonna hang on to these stickers. We might have use for them later. We also get a shiny purple top that says be heard for another layer. The shorts are a little baggy on Raya and Poppy, it's kind of adorable on our curvy Ariel. She can also fit the tank top and it also works with a classic made to move body. Very cute, in my opinion. And our last fashion pack for the day is Rapunzel. We have a sweatshirt with laces on the arms, a gold colored necklace with a little sun, two notebooks, one is plastic and the top can open and we have little printed pages here. The other one is made out of paper with pages on the inside. There's a plastic backpack with gold painted trim 
shorts with belt loops, a little fringe at the bottom, and working pockets in the back, and a pair of sneakers. Those little ribbon laces can get stuck on the doll's fingers when dressing them. The top looks good on a curvy, however the shorts cannot close in the back. This outfit fits a classic made-to-move body. The shorts are big on Raya and Poppy. Now that we have all these clothes, we need some way to store them. My go-to is a binder. I use card, photo, and page protectors to organize my clothes collection so I can easily find whatever I need by just flipping the page. Then I take the doll packaging and place it on the outside of the binder. So I know exactly where to go when I'm looking for Disney bounding fashion. And I keep all of the other accessories in a divided plastic container. I might need two because they have a lot of stuff. And we haven't even started on the accessory packs yet. So I'm gonna take a quick break, which will be a few minutes for me, but a few days for you. So be sure to come back for part two. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Disney Illy Forever fashion packs. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.